everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Cook Like a Japanese channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make Japanese bell pepper side dish. You know, bell pepper is so popular here, and we make several side dish and main dish with this bell pepper. But today's recipe is super simple, super easy to make, and it tastes super yummy. So why don't you try it at your home? Alright, the ingredients for Japanese bell pepper side dish is only two. The first one is of course bell peppers, and the other one is bonito flakes. We use it for garnish. And we have four steps to making it. Step one is to cut the uh, bell peppers in a quarter for each. And at that stage, I recommend you to make the broth with a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of sake, one tablespoon of mirin, plus 50 cc of water, and a little bit of dash powder. Step two is to stir fry the bell pepper and make it nice and brown. And step three, is to pour the broth into the pan and kind of shimmer it for four minutes. And the last step, step four, is to plate it and put some bonnet flakes on. Super simple, isn't it? So why don't we go on to step one? Yeah, it's time to go to step one. Step one is to cut the uh, uh, bell pepper in quarters for each. There are several ways to remove the seed and the stem and from the bell pepper, but I like this way. You know, use your thumb and then cut it in half. And remove the seeds inside and wash it at the same time. Then you cut them in half, it's gonna be uh, quarters, eight quarters, <laughs> okay that's it. I'm making the broth with 50 cc of water, with a tablespoon of soy sauce, tablespoon of mirin, no, it was sake, one tablespoon of sake, and with one tablespoon of mirin with a bit of dash powder. Okay, so when are we going to step two? All right, when are we going to step two? Step two is to pan fry the cut bell pepper. I recommend you to use sesame oil because it tastes good but any kind of oil is okay so when the oil is heated put the bell pepper into it Okay, nice and brown like this, I guess so. Let's go and do step 3. Step 3 is to pour the blocks. Four minutes in medium heat and put the lid on. So now four minutes have passed. So let's see how it works. Yeah, it looks great, isn't it? So soft. Wow. Great. It's done. So why don't we go to step four, the last step, 
So it's time to play the bell pepper. Ooh, so soft. Yeah, of course it's. Great. We need bonita flakes for garnish. Wow, it looks so Japanese, isn't it? Well, now the uh, Japanese bell pepper side dish is here. Why don't you try it at your home? Alright, and now you know, to make Japanese bell pepper side dish is not that difficult. It's super easy, wasn't it? Yeah, looks great. So why don't you try it at your home? Anyway, thanks for watching and take good care. And if you like this video, please put the thumbs up button and subscribe. Hope to see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Take good care. Arigato. See you. Bye bye.